Hey, 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 what the heck? Sorry, guys. Okay, I came in rushing. Why? Because of you've been DMing me. Some of you now even have my WhatsApp contacts. How the heck did you find them? All right, guys, you've been asking for this topic. Now let's break it down. Today, we are definitely facing or focusing on types of industries. Any country's economy definitely needs these types of industries. And definitely today, we'll only be concentrating on seven. I think there's only seven that is definitely contributing on the highest in South Africa. How many did I say? Seven industries. Yes. Okay, guys, what is an industry or industries? In a simple definition, yes, simple definition. You just say it is a workplace which mainly focuses on manufacturing or processing raw materials into finished goods or finished product. You heard what I said. All right, guys, let's start with the first industry which is called the heavy industry it explains itself heavy and when we talk about industries before i write the heavy industry there when we talk about industries we are going to only be looking at three of the best the first one it is the amount of land that particular industry needs the amount of polishing that particular industry is definitely contributing towards and also the amount that that particular industry it is definitely contributing towards the economy. Whether when it comes to workplace, the amount of people it is actually hiring. That obviously speaks to the amount it is contributing towards the economy, right? If you are hiring more people, that means you are contributing more towards the economy okay guys now we start with what the heavy industry my brother please my sister please make sure that you are taking the flippant notes and if you are not taking notes before you actually take notes because of everyone has to take notes like this video subscribe to my channel why because of close-up education whether it is scorching or outside i will definitely deliver when it comes to education what did i say heavy industries let's write it down yes guys i will just only write heavy. what we actually have to think about when you think about a heavy industry firstly the land i said it the land it occupies it is large heavy industries it is occupying a huge piece of land why because of it is producing huge products and if it is producing huge products that means it is using a lot of materials whether raw materials or materials it is using a lot of materials so let's make an example of a heavy industry a heavy industry is, it is a definitely industry which is definitely creating the steel right the steel industries the the, the industries that are creating steels right the industries that are creating concrete if you watch the video i dropped before this one as headed to a mine you would definitely see the concrete which was used to build those mines it is not your small line and up concrete which you can find from patrao or something like that no ways those are heavy heavy concrete heavy product and if it's not a large product the heavy industry also produced in bulk right it produces in bulk meaning or in a large quantity such as what do we say let's talk about chemicals also chemicals are coming from heavy industry chemicals such as your uh, acid right chemicals such as your uh, your your what is this what what do they call this the, the thing when you after painting right after painting you have to definitely wash your hands they call it a thing something like that somewhere those kind of chemicals are also coming from heavy industries it is not only producing large uh, products such as those large uh, concrete but then it is also producing in bulk right or in a large quantity when it comes to chemicals okay guys now let's definitely move if we know the heavy and geography we know when there is heavy what else should be actually following the light industries you heard what i said let's write it down 
yes guys just going to be writing light there what do i mean by light industries it's definitely the opposite of heavy industry what do i mean by that i mean the light industry doesn't need a huge or acres and acres of land and also it means it is not producing a lot or of pollution and that definitely means it doesn't need a lot of materials to produce whatever product it's being produced okay guys so what is an example of a light industry what you am wearing or what you are currently wearing right now clothes guys this is definitely one of the major light industry we have in this world right the clothing manufacturing the clothing manufacturing factories those are the light industries that is part of an example of a light industry that one is definitely not producing a lot of pollution so meaning the clothing manufacturer can be actually found nearer the residential areas within the industrial areas of the city right it is not producing too much pollution so it will it will not be as far away as the heavy industries the heavy industries we do not even want to see them they are outside the urban areas right they are outside there those are the heavy industries because of they are producing a lot of pollution okay guys we already said the clothing manufacturers are definitely light industries right they are definitely there and we could also add those food packages the ones that are packaging food when you see food is already packaged in, in the shops there was a factory that was definitely packaging that particular food yes guys those food packages are an example of a light industry definitely easy as that light light heavy definitely makes sense now we are moving to the third one guys this is how we are getting this marks so make sure that you like this video subscribe to my channel why because of we are moving into much nicer one which is called the raw material orientated we know that we have raw material for days in south africa raw material for days so what is this raw material orientated industry raw material orientated industry what do they mean it definitely explains itself do i actually have to explain it i guess i do raw material orientated industry definitely means those industries they are tied to that particular location they cannot be just anywhere raw material orientated industry they are located to that particular raw material